I honestly, I love watching Kanagar play, and I'm excited to see them back here. So we'll see how it ends up going. You know, maybe I'm not, I don't know enough about Tekken to know how that specifically might break their brain. But maybe we'll get a show of that. At the moment, yeah. Jib is kind of just running all yeah. over. Tekken neutral, Smash neutral, weirdly similar, just in the way you approach those flow charts. Well, they both have wave dashes, right? Yeah. Well, in, in some sense, very different. But <laughs> yeah. you might, some of your micro spacing, some of your your ways you just approach your different options and your different lines, kind of you can think through it in very very, very similar fashions. In the moment, though, it's just going to be Jib looking, Vince repeating again on this ledge trap, holding that positioning by ledge with some variable wave dash lengths, right, to just mix up the pace at which Fox is going to hold that space. Now just looking to find an opening, going to get it again, and unfortunately getting caught there, the shine unfortunate op yeah, opportunity to lose that button. There's no buffering in Melee, but sometimes people just kind of buffer things. You know, your brain is already trying to press a button, and Shine is so fast, you get put off the stage so quickly that if you are mentally pre already preparing for your input, whatever that might have been, uh, you are going to end up forward airing off stage and dying. But, okay, that should be it. Taking that stock, bringing things up to even stock count here, actually. Mm -hmm. Things are not looking so bad for Kanagar, and especially if this is the sort of thing where, you know, over time just shakes off the cobwebs. I would put the long game in Kanagar's favor. That's how I would say. And I mean, you're watching Jim right already start to just miss space a couple things slightly, playing this very high octane game plan, but again, it's just these couple, oh, scrappy drop a grab here or there, over, overextend this or that, where Kanagar is getting ping ponged around, but isn't really dropping things, right? Those whiffs if are, okay, I went for a dash attack, I missed, I got punished. It, it, as you mentioned, it's a type of game plan that just <laughs> really works out well in the long game, and Salty, I think that's what we're seeing here to start <laughs> things off. Jip does answer back and keep this one close, but I, we're seeing Kanagar start to make some adjustments. Yeah, and Fox is, it's, Fox is one of those characters where it feels like he can, if you know what, like if you can have your third eye open, mm -hmm. you can always be where you need to. And that's, like you can always get the follow up if you read the DI, if, so, like you can always get to the position you need to be in. And right now it feels like Kanagar, not necessarily saying third eye open, but is starting to figure out a little bit the positioning a little more and oh my God, just, back and forth here, but gets past it. Oh, I recently learned how side B works. I don't know how, at least this is what, what was explained to me. I'll do it after this match is over. But um, it's, oh, okay, this is really big. Getting up to the platform. The back hit of up smash is actually, wow. And the pop right. off from the crowd as he takes game one. Jib locking down there at the end. D felt like especially, you know, Jib's biggest key to victory was allow some of these scrap situations, allow once Kanagar started coming in with these neutral areas, these dash attacks largely to find these comments that said, okay, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this, okay, I'm gonna crouch cancel shine. But I'm gonna just use my get off me tool, I'm gonna stuff you and just force you suddenly to flip to the back foot because you're all playing this very patient flow state based game. And then when that starts to break down, Jib has found a lot of opportunity to just explode in with some of these very labbed out punishes, right? That we're oh seeing. my God. And it just knows that he's already gone. Right there with just that wonky way to open up the game, but I mean, it's a strong opener. Oh, but the SDI in that up air was also so good. Uh, but yeah, things. this is a different, the narrative is completely swapped right now yeah, here. There's that shine, right? Once again, to stuff out Kanagar's approach, the power shield to get away too, but even still, Kanagar is ready, finds his push to the corner, and not gonna let Jib get away without a fight, but Jib somehow manages to steal back stage control for a moment, even still not enough salty, and <laughs> as you mentioned, just a completely different game. Kanagar, dare I see, opened the can and just completely running away with this one early. Oh, and messing up the Armada Shine. That's rough right there. Okay, that's the first time. So one other thing that Kanagar is doing a really good job of, not swinging first. Or if, they, or if they are swinging first, it's like in a very carefully retreated way. Uh, but, ooh, okay, it feels like okay. once can Oh, thank you. Also, those, the pivot, the dash dance, pivot, moonwalk back from Jib to kind of faint like you're gonna like you're looking for a wave land or a wave shine just like as a movement mix up there is so clean and just keeps going for these these options to just again get a little bit tricky with the movement <laughs> keep Kanagar a little bit off kilter but Kanagar now is right we're seeing start to catch on to this timing keep up with this smooth criminal that Jib is bringing to the table and yeah. starting to run away right with Ooh. this patient game also one thing is that Kanagar so 
a little bit earlier in this in this game was not being like would wait to actually pull the trigger unless they were in the corner in which case they would come back aggressively but now interestingly if they're not doing that that time it was picked up by chip that's why that up tilt came out and we're still seeing Ganagar in a commanding position, but maybe those tricks are starting to get read I, a little bit more. This might be the end of Kanagar's third stock really, here, but no, great. I really like this from Jib, though, right? Recognizing, hey, it's really risky for me to capitalize on and steal the stock earlier there at the left. So instead, of what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trap your landing, keep you on this platform over and over, and just stay underneath you, control that space, because even if you just get hit by the wrong thing, you're going to get put into a rinse repeat situation on the other side, right? That's how you find that stock, is just by nickel and diving them over and over again and right now though it's all about just finding this one hit getting this opening to the point that you can maybe force a similar situation force a last stock scenario because you can't be thinking how do i win the game right now if you're jib you have to be thinking how do i take the stock how do i win this interaction one step at a time and that's how you're going to get your way across yeah. this finish line oh. as canagar now gives you that opening right through that patience oh. that you've been looking for yeah, yeah. One thing also, we're seeing a lot more shines, especially in this close range of that. Ooh, Jib is closing the distance and using the faster options. That should be, catches the jump. This should be it. What no! an angle! Getting burned by the fire. That's so dangerous, especially because Kanagar is last stock. They can absolutely die right here. I think, oh, does not properly read Hold the on. option. And too far away from Going the actual follow-up. Yep. And okay, the shine to get off me, gonna find it back, looking for the way in. Both these players kind of in a scramble right now. You can see the nerf starting to pick up on Kanagar. That falling up here could have been the opening, but Jim's gonna drop it, has to find oh. the illusion, and that's gonna be the down smash to close out the game. What a way. You saw oh. both players see the game flash before their eyes, and that's where the gameplay picked up in pace, right? They just started, you saw the game plans fly out the window as all of a sudden they went, oh my god, I can win this, oh my god, I can win this, oh my god, I have to win this. And that's where they pounced, and that's where those, uh, those falling up airs, that's where those swings and misses with the full jump and nair, the grab that right, came from was just, how do I try and find this opening when there's not also, another interaction? I want to say that Kanagar was doing a really good job of getting early stocks at the okay. very beginning of this set, but right there, not being able to close Oh no. oh no! And let's. He, okay, they're smirking about it. They're smirking. They're fine. But uh, yeah, that is a terrible way to open up this game here. Oh yeah, it's just it's a remake back. Yeah. No, this is. The, the, you, I will not lose any stocks from you. They will all be on my own accord. That was so smart. The spacing there on that up tilt from Jib, recognizing, hey. If you crouch cancel this, you can dash in, but I actually, it's a frame trap with the shine, the correct move to get on away. Unfortunately, not able to capitalize off of it. And now Kanagar gonna see stage control for a second, not able to keep it going. The moonwalk gonna open things up in turn for Jib. And these two players are starting to get a little tricky, right? We've seen kind of play style variations from them as each game has gone throughout the set, but now you're really seeing them cash it all in in this game through. You're really starting to see- Jib playing very grounded yeah. as well. We're seeing a lot of those up tilts, just saying, keeping those options, and that was, I think, okay, went for the double jump, realized that side B was not enough, and just, it was like, okay, I just need to up B right here, right now. But that was great awareness from Kanagar, and I love that! Going for that, that's such a, it's an option that you never think of when, when you're playing. Oh my god, yeah, he's holding onto the ledge, I can just up B directly to the ledge, but it works out. The shine pressure just chasing him left, right, and sideways. Kanagar going and putting you to work, but not able to close it out. All it's going to take is the slightest of overextension, Salty. And Fox can make you pay. Jib doing such a good job finding a way back in. Kanagar now having a chance to even it up, but having to just play around this platform. Both players with a little technical flub to reset to neutral. And it's going to be Jib with stage control trying to find the opening to bring this one back even. Okay, so Jib is showing that he's kind of crouching while, oh, while Kanagar is in the corner there. Oh, beautiful mid shortened. And that's going to possibly be it, though. Second hit only. I think actually, if it was both hits, yeah, it might have killed, hit. but it doesn't matter. Cleaning that up. Now we have, this is so, so close here. Kanagar keeping him in the corner. Can he actually close out the yeah, stock, it, though? It's about getting out of the corner now, though, if you're Jib, right? Kanagar's been so efficient and going to do so again. Great little trap with that PS2 play. If you die low, right, you get put in a tech situation, and then it's all she wrote as well off that tech chase. However, right now, Jib knowing last stock scenario, keeping it nice and even. I want to play with the platform positioning in my favor. Going to miss the JC on the up smash though, and that's going to give Kanagar the turn they so desperately were looking for. The back and forth is immense as these two players again open it up here to close out the set. Okay, Salty. big forward throw. 
Oh, that show oh, not not able to get there for the actual Armada Shine. Reads that though, no jump, but the back air reverses. Oh my god, 100% the show up smash finally does it. Kanagar taking it just barely. The slight timing mix up at the end there, right? The dash in, jump up. Wave dash back into then the jump cancel up smash just to keep yourself a little bit more tricky on the movement. Just keep Jip off Kildur just in case there's something you didn't expect that comes out of that interaction somehow, some way, right? I just was gorgeous stuff. It was also just one of those, oh, both players had chances at the end, and we saw, right, once it got the last stock, both players pounced. They just opened up the floodgates of, what do I have left to show? I have to show it now. Well, there were also, so two things. One, I think that Kanagar did a really great job of always maintaining pressure, even when the edge guard didn't go didn't go their way. You know, the back air reversed. It felt like in game two when that would happen, all of a sudden, now we're back to neutral. Now Jib maybe is the one with stage control, but this time around, even when there was tiny flubs with the edge guards, or maybe he was not optimal, still was absolutely present enough to keep up the combo, and it never felt like Jib was able to get his footing back. So, um, and, I had another thing I was going to say also. Oh, yeah, the um, at yeah, the, the end there, there was... You don't know until you start playing Melee. The windows of punishing are so tight. And at the end right there, we saw a bunch of times where down airs would happen. And it absolutely a grab could have been there. But they were just a little bit late on the reaction. Maybe that's nerves. Maybe that's just the endurance of having to play three games. But all of a sudden, that's where those, like, those tiny little, they were, I forget the name, the exact term from them, but like you have the opening there, but you're just, the execution, you don't get it. So that was, there was not necessarily uh, spaghetti in the way that we normally think of it, but definitely you could see the intensity. In